Hello my fellow gamers and welcome once again to Pera Philosophs City Skylines Let's Learn to Place. I'm going to continue building up my original city which I used to figure out stuff in this game. I had in the previous video expanded my inner ring and the outer rings as well and I had a huge demand for commercial which I'm trying to uh, satisfy by adding more commercial high density into the next ring which I luckily left uh, unzoned so that I would have uh, room to fill it if something new happened. I do seem to have some low density commercial here for some reason, must have misclicked at some point. Uh, as I was saying I need to fill this up uh, to the edge and see how the traffic is gonna flow. One thing that uh, I have been told my, by my subscribers and one thing that I have also found out later on that the developers have posted in a wiki is how the public transportation actually affects the leveling of buildings. I had not uh, had any proof of that, just uh, the comments and something I, that I read about, but uh, I have found in the wiki a little page that shows what exactly influences industry to level up. So basically what I read was that the first thing and the foremost is their exporting of cargo. So a cargo train terminal or the one with the ships, the it's called uh, a cargo harbor, they give uh, the biggest benefit to industry to level up. They also need educated workers and they need services, but those services don't just include hospitals, cemeteries, fire stations, police, uh, of course garbage they also include public transportation and public transportation plays a large role in upgrading not only the uh, usual industry the generic industry that produces goods but also it affects offices and their leveling up so uh, in this episode I am hoping to test that out I am for the first time going to use uh, buses and bus lines in my city and see how the industry and the offices are going to react and are they really going to level up faster because they will have access to public transportation because this area is so huge I will have to use at least two bus lines I was thinking about starting the first line somewhere about here and then going every two blocks and connecting with the new station if you guys know if going every two blocks is too few or too many stations, please write me in the comment section. Uh, like I said, I haven't used public transportation up until now, so if you guys have better ideas, please post. And as you know, I always take my uh, subscribers' comments seriously and try to test out everything that they mention because it always helps to get some conferred information and be able to use it in my cities. And come back this way. And now that would be the first bus line. The second one should cover this industry and this part of the residential. So let's uh, start from here and go up through here. Whoops, the wrong side of the street, sorry. And now I've reached this point which is a one way and it's turned this way so that would not work. But I can go this way. up through here can enter this industrial area through this street go to here and here over here close to this industry then I can go back down through here can I use this street to come back down? Uh, no, not this one, not this one, but I can use this one. Okay, not through there, through here. And there we go, that would be the second bus line. 
I see a lot of arrows pointing upwards and they are green which means that this is definitely having an influence on the industry and take a look at this so many more industry buildings that are dark brown which means that they have increased in the level so you can see here definite proof that public transportation does help increase the level of industry now that I know this information it's gonna be much easier if I need to level up any more industry over here but as you can see a whole bunch of this industry is already at level 3 and that is without public transportation so there is uh, obviously a different effect from different buildings which allows industry to grow uh, regardless of the fact that it might not have all the elements which I find pretty cool I mean you cannot always have public transportation in some areas you cannot maybe have a cargo train terminal in some area so you can uh, combine different effects to level up your industry you're not bound uh, by anything to use all of them at the same time and like I said it may be impractical so I like that design design decision a lot and now I can upgrade this part of the city with more residential zones and get it to be filled all over the place And now that I have zoned a lot more of residential areas, I need to wait a little bit for them. Whoa, wait a minute, I made a big mistake here. I have zoned low density in the area where I want high density. Need to fix this. I should probably add some parks as well into these areas because parks no longer destroy the commercial demand and you can use parks to your heart's content. Now my residential demand has gone down quite a bit and I did zone a lot. Uh, I should check my unemployment still only at 4%. So adding any more commercial and industry would kind of require more residents to first move in. Now if I'm expanding the residential zones, I will also have to expand a little bit on the education department. For example, over here I would need a new school. Same thing would go for over here elementary school of course and I would need another high school because I only have this one over here so definitely need a new one over here and we'll need a new one on this side as well these areas are definitely covered with all the other services well this area over here might need more fire stations and more police stations but I have yet to reach it with my zones so no need to get more of those at the moment I can take a look again at the industry they do have and this is the first time I've actually seen this not enough educated workers uh, it's a good thing I just built more schools because these uh, high level industries at level 3 do require educated workers and the industry also needs more buyers for their products so I should definitely keeping, uh, up, keep zoning for more high density commercials I've pretty much made a full circle with high density commercial here one thing that I've forgotten to check are uh, the buildings that go into my districts for example blue frog has offices and commercial which is good but I think I've noticed fast food has some commercial zones in the residential areas as well so I need to uh, locate those and fix that I would have to wager that this is where the problem lies This should have fixed this and I should not have 
and hopefully I won't have any more commercial in Westwood. There we go. Westwood is free of commercial buildings. The Bullfrog has commercial offices and Pandemic has a low density residential. I should uh, check back with this industry over here. There we go. Far more of them are at level 2 than they previously were. But now another issue is popping up. Not enough buyers for products. I do have a high demand for uh, the commercial buildings and they do seem to be going up a level. Now one thing that I do not know is do commercial buildings actually buy more products as they level up to level 2 and 3. But uh, I will use the same trick that I used in the uh, second part of the city. Here where I have offices and commercial buildings I am going to make a new district and this new district here I can call this one Maxis because that is another studio that has been closed by EA at least the part of it that worked on the game I will not mention but you know which game that is and in this area I will use the policy for the small business enthusiast this will mean that the commercial uh, buildings will double their sales well it will cost me a little bit per building and I will also raise the taxes on the offices for 2% now that that's done I hope that the industry will now actually be able to sell more produce now that the commercial are going to level up to level 3 and now that they are going to be selling double the amount of goods as this policy has just uh, instructed them to do. I still do not have any more demand for uh, residential. I am up to 38,000 population. Unemployment is 3%. My industry has a problem of finding places to sell their goods while I cannot uh, build any more commercial areas in this area over here now I knew that there was going to be a problem balancing commercial once they fixed it with a patch I just did not expect this big of an issue mm, I'm not sure is it being caused because the industry is at level 3 and it's producing more or is it caused by something else? Uh, I could take a look at the policies and see if any of those could help me out. This would definitely not help me because this doubles the amount of goods produced by the industry and that would make this problem even worse. I have already implemented in my bullfrog area the policy for big business benefactors which should make them double their sales but I'm not sure that uh, this policy will actually make the industry oops I seem to be running out of power somehow energy consumption 600 energy production 560 what exactly just happened the dam is still producing the advanced wind turbines are still producing Oh, I see. So as soon as a, a power production building goes on fire, its power output goes to zero, which makes sense. I didn't even know that the solar power plant could catch on fire. Good thing to learn. Well, then in that case, I'll just have to build a new one. And now power should go back the green area there we go I still have plenty more water to go building is on fire hopefully a group of fire trucks is on their way not that I see them right now uh, I could have checked back here buses in use 21 and how much money am I paying for this 
I'm paying 721 for those buses. I'm paying 5000 for trains. Didn't know that it was that expensive. Here we go. The fire trucks have arrived to save my solar power plant. Now I will probably have more than enough power once this fire is out. There we go, it's operating normally and now I have way more electricity than I need so I can just turn off this one until another fire ensues and then I will probably have to turn it back on to make sure I have enough. So redundancy does play a role in this game. Over here I seem to have started having pileups. There's just too many trucks coming out here at the same time. <laughs> and this is pretty stupid also. Look at the way that these guys want to go and use the middle lane and they're cutting into this traffic instead of using just this first lane. I think this could be solved by a little change. If I were to use an on-ramp because this is uh, the highway and let's see what will happen now. Which lane would they be using? See? Much better. So if you connect two-way streets into the highway, they will end up using the middle lane. But if you connect it with an on and off ramp, it's gonna uh, make them use the uh, outermost lane. Which is a pretty awesome fix to see right here in the act. This is why I had made my designed with, uh, if you have watched one of my previous episodes about the road to 1 million population on hard mode, you will know that I have made a city that uses uh, this exact principle to get the traffic in and out fast because these on wraps are actually the only way to make sure that your uh, outbound traffic or inbound is going to use the outermost lane lanes and not use the middle lanes. Now that uh, I have that covered, I need to check out the situation with the garbage. That's okay, over here. 57 emptying, don't have to empty it anymore. 31%, 38%, so I'm burning just enough that these things are not getting uh, too much garbage in them. No garbage overflow, still abandoned because well, it turned out somebody else wanted to try their luck in the industry in my city. It's not abandoned anymore. I finally have more demand for residential uh, and I believe these areas that I have zoned are gonna go up now. It seems that it is going to take quite a bit of time to get these areas to level up. Wow, that is a lot of noise pollution. I believe the commercial buildings are the culprit here. As for the outer rings, for the inner rings, I am well aware that the industry creates a lot of noise pollution. Over here, I did not expect the noise pollution for the cargo tank terminal to be this, uh, to have this large of an area of effect. These guys living here probably won't reach maximum level and the land value is probably gonna suffer for it. I could simply not zone them like I did here and I increase this to the second line as well. I might as well just do that. Why have them zoned if they're not gonna like where they're living? There we go and the guys over there shouldn't have too many problems. So. Like I said, this area I will leave alone and won't zone on it. Unemployment is at 4% and the residential zones are growing nicely. So I guess I could zone a little bit more and hopefully they will fill up these zones. Now the traffic does seem to get crazy in these streets, especially the ones leading the uh, main traffic lines for import and export. It's a good thing I built this thing over here. It seems that it's attracting a lot of traffic. And this would be pretty stupid. 
Why are they doing this? They go in here and then they go here. All the traffic is coming in from there. I would have preferred if they were to use this side to go in and this side to get in. Hmm, I think I will have to do some traffic engineering here. Let's see, uh, this I'm going to disconnect completely. This is a one way that goes out and one way that goes in. Well, I think that's all that's necessary. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, but is it this going to just make this intersection become the king of the hill? No, mm, they are going to use other streets as well, I hope. Then again, maybe not. So all I did was to move the heavy traffic to this intersection instead of this one. Ha! How about that? Alright. I guess this is because this is the main street that leads to the industry. What I could do would be to create a small area here and then have traffic. Well, I think this would actually uh, even benefit like this. Because if the guys coming through here have to go through a larger surface area to get to this intersection, it's going to allow this intersection to not be hit uh, so fast with so many vehicles. It's always good to have a large area for them to travel through so that they do not mess on a single spot. I will keep an eye on this and change if I see a problem. For now it's flowing so I won't touch it anymore. Let me take a look at the industry level once more. Level 2, some of these far out here on the edges are still not leveling to level 2, but hopefully in the future they will. The low density commercial seems to be going up to level 3. And the offices are still at level 2. A few of them are going up to level 3, but all very slowly. I will have to read up on what exactly am I missing for the offices to level up. Well, I could take a look here. Building needs to be covered by more services. More services. Oh, I have covered you with garbage, with hospitals, and hmm, there doesn't appear to be good enough coverage here with the cemetery. This will need to be added, let's say over here. Good coverage with the fire stations, good coverage with the police. I will have to check back on that wiki and see what exactly am I missing for them to upgrade. Now it's definitely going to take a while to get uh, all the commercial industry and residential to upgrade and uh, to get more residential to grow. And even though my plan was to finish up this city, by now it seems it's actually going to take a bit longer. If you guys want me to just play this without doing a let's play and try and fill up this circle to the end and then show you what the result is in uh, let's play, please post in the comment section. I could do that or I could just keep spending with us to try and fill this uh, city, uh, this circular city up. I do have some other uh, design ideas for cities which I would like to show you. So like I said, please tell me in the comment section if you would like me to keep showing you as I fill this uh, area part by part or would you like me to just uh, skip uh, up to the point where I have this everything filled up and I'm ready to try another city design. That will be all for this episode. Thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for more.